Hi guys, Pitch Perfect here and I'm back playing Grey's Anatomy. In the last video we finished episode 1 and we found out that uh, one of the earlier patients has got diphtheria which um, is quite contagious so we're about to start episode 2 and uh, see where that leads us and uh, see how that affects everyone. So episode 2, Hopeless and Devoted. In med school, we are taught that in order to become truly great surgeons, we must be dedicated. A hospital emergency has been declared. We have a patient with diphtheria, which as you know is very contagious. I'm in contact with the CDC to get antitoxin so that we can treat the patient who has been infected. The CDC will also be bringing vaccine so that we can immunize all those who have not been infected yet. We currently have a very small supply of the vaccine here at the hospital. Chief, I have four surgeries today that will require that vaccine. I need some set aside. Same here, Chief. I need at least five vaccinations for my surgeries. Those with weaker immune systems and children should come first. It's nice to see uh, Callie pop up there. Hopefully she'll become a playable character a little later on. Uh, right, so we need to take control of the situation. <laughs> I'm not sure that telling them to shut up is uh, really the answer, but uh, sure, we need to be all chiefly and uh, tell them to do what we want them to do. I like and go is really this the, the way to go, but um, <laughs> not really a choice here, so we'll have to go with it and uh, see what happens. Oh. Oh, come on, I totally press that in time. I press that in time. <laughs> I did. I did. Okay. I'll do this again. But uh, yeah, I, as I was saying, I don't think that getting angry is the way to control the situation. But I really don't seem to have a choice here. So I'm going to have to go with that. But surely you want to stay calm in a kind of stressful situation. Calm surely is the way to go. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> no choice. Let's see what he says. Listen up, people! The nurses have gone through the charts and assigned a priority level and a corresponding colored flag to each patient. You will be sent out in pairs to complete the vaccinations. Okay, you do need to handle the situation. Okay, that, that's pull away the interns because you know that's obviously the way to handle it let's just get rid of the interns <laughs> I'm assuming we're gonna like um, tell them what they Your need to be doing assignments are as follows Dr. Stevens and Dr. Lexi Gray you'll take care of the red level patients with open or contaminated wounds why are we splitting it into levels maybe we should give I mean, we only have a small supply of the vaccine, so shouldn't we give, like, what we have, like, all of what we have to the emergency patients rather than split into some that are emergent, some are n a little bit emergent, and some that are non-emergent? It would probably make more sense to give it all to the emergency patients, because I'm guessing these are the people that if they um, got diphtheria, then... Um, they're less likely to survive because their immune system's not going to handle it. I'm not really sure what the point of these little directional puzzles are for. They don't really add much to the gameplay. But uh, hey ho. Right, Let's give people this vaccine. <laughs> Just vaccinate one person that will help, won't it? Oh, oh, two. <laughs> Two people, you're, you're going to be good. Oh, three. Okay. All right, maybe I'm going to vaccinate like a whole bunch of people. Oops. I'll vaccinate a whole bunch of people on there. Wait, why won't you take your vaccine? You're such a wuss. All right, four people. There we go. Four people are safe. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to make much of a difference, is that? Doctors Han and O'Malley take care of the orange level. Patients who have received less than three doses of the vaccine. 
so you want to give vaccine to people who have already received vaccine? Well, surely that's a waste. Unless he means, like, people who have received it throughout their lifetime, like, I mean, there are certain vaccines that you sort of, you get throughout your life, like you get, like, the TB vaccine and stuff like that, so maybe it's one of those that you get regularly. I'm not sure if I've ever been vaccinated against diphtheria. Don't know. I don't know. That's not one I remember anyway. Hmm. But maybe it is something that you get sort of vaccinated regularly against. Maybe. We're we gonna help another four people out. There we go. That's eight people in the whole hospital that are safe. That's that's impressive. <laughs> Doctor Sloan and Gray head up to maternity. Oh yeah, that should have taken precedence. We need to make sure that none of the pregnant moms or the new babies get get sick. Why didn't we do that earlier? I'm not sure if that's a very good route. Let's have a look. Yeah, made it. I don't really know what those red dots are supposed to be, but uh, never mind, never mind. I'm going to vaccinate another bunch of people. This is nice and easy. Nothing too complicated. We'll just jab some vaccine in a few people's arms and we're done. <laughs> nice and easy. We've already run out of the vaccine. And only half the patients have been vaccinated. Not good. Sir, that was the rep from the CDC. Where's this agent they're sending over? On his way with more vaccine, but there's a delay in the antitoxin. How long? There was an outbreak in Puerto Rico that depleted their stock. They're developing more, but it takes time. A week, maybe. A week? You mean we're not going to have enough vaccine for a week? A week? Are you kidding me? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do without that vaccine. Oh, stressful, stressful times. <sighs> alright, alright, you calm down, you calm down, we can do this, we can do this. You stay nice and calm, and not get angry, avoid all the anger, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Oops, that's not avoiding the anger. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I just went the wrong way. Okay. Alright. Focus. I can do this. I can do this. Be fine. Be fine. Be fine. I just need to go left when they're coming at me and not right. And I should be fine. There we go. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. Way. Stay nice and calm. We can handle this. We can handle this. That man has less than five days. We're gonna have to figure something out. Dedication is about more than just time. Yes, sir. Dedication is also a state of mind. That's not good. So. I'm not going to get enough vaccine for people for a week, which possibly means that the hospital might need to go into lockdown and this guy's got less than five days to live. So that's not good. That is really, really not good. It's not a good situation to be in. Not good at all. Oh, this did you see totally that? This totally horror movie, but it's going to keep you healthy. 
That's really nice. You saved them for talk. Oh. Well, if he's already infected, that's not going to help. But we'll protect him if he's not been infected yet. So fingers crossed that he'll be okay. It was very thoughtful of you, Izzy. It was really nice. Choice. What do I have a choice of? What would a baby like? Sing or baby talk? Um, I'm going to go with the baby talk because that says that's a love option. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a go, see what she says. nice happy little song but uh yeah you you talk to the baby is he you talk oh, did tucky get an owie? perhaps tucky needs a nappy for his wee wee i'm sorry i couldn't help myself i'm damon Berger. <laughs> i can't have random people over here but he's not random he introduced himself he's not going to cause any trouble right what are you all worried about, Izzy? It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. You're just being, like, overprotective. It's fine. Sir, I'm going to need you to return to the waiting area. Mind if I take a look at him? <laughs> I think you might want to back off. You do not want to mess with Izzy. You really don't. Oh, it's all about getting anger today, getting angry and shouting at people. It's terrible, it's terrible. I mean, I don't think he meant any harm, he was just trying to be helpful. I mean, for all we know, he could be the CDC guy that they were sending over. So he was probably just wanted to check that the baby wasn't... Sir? Please Infected. take a step back right now. I know I may not scare you right now, but I advise you not to judge a book by its cover because this book will kick your ass. <laughs> Allow me to apologize again. My name's Damon Berger. I'm with the Center for Disease Control. Can you tell me where I can find Chief Weber? I said he could be the CDC guy. So he was just trying to help. He was just checking that you Tuck wasn't infected. If I get fired, it's totally <laughs> your fault. The mindset that causes us to always press on. Okay. How are you going to prove that? Okay, by showing away pictures of yourself, because, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Come on, how are you going to prove that you're committed? What are you going to do or say? Okay, what's your problem? All up in my face? Damn right you need to hold your ground, we're not having that. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, that's like a perfect tear right round his arm. That's awesome. That's like a perfect curve. <laughs> Can you give us a moment? I need to assist Dr. Shepard. It's okay. <sighs> she was bossy. So, who do we have here? Mia Castillo. Underwent a hemispherectomy three weeks ago. Been in a coma ever since. You said you were looking for me? I need to be direct. Okay. About what? You still 
Like, it's still not really clear what it is that you want to say. Yeah, uh, I wanted to see if you were available this evening for a date. A date? A date. Can you provide me with additional information regarding said date? <clears throat> Don't need to know that I want an actual date, okay? All right then. <laughs> well, you know, dates are pretty straightforward. You know, sometimes there's a movie, usually food. Some wine, something like that, you know. Not very overly complicated. He he really should know that. He's acting a bit dense. Sorry, that's a phone. Right, sorry about that. Uh, I am back. Um, get on with what I was doing. Find out what uh, Meredith is going to say. Like a real date, you and me at a restaurant, bottle of wine, conversation, dessert. The whole deal. You and I have never been on an actual date. Are you serious about this? I think she might be. Okay, what do you want us to do? Oh no, flick away the doubt. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Okay, it's not moving very quickly. That could be a bit of a problem. Especially as... I've only got a couple of lives left as it is. I can see this being an issue. Oh, oh, oh. Go, 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 go quicker. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, try again. Oh, it's a new scene. I've got more lives. Whew, okay, <laughs> we'll try and get it done this time though. Okay, 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 okay. We need to get this done speedily. They're all stuck together and they're moving so slowly. Oh, come on, move, move, move. We're stuck, stuck. Stop being like this. We need to go quicker. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes! Done. Whew. <laughs> Things are going to be different this time. Bless you. Thank you. Wasn't she in a coma? We need to do a neuro again. <laughs> Oh, she wake up at the most inappropriate time ever. Oh dear me. You were supposed to be in a coma and then you just sneeze and you're awake? How? Like, how? Makes no sense. No sense at all. No sense. But it's okay, because her one eye is fine. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's the phone again. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Seems that uh, everyone's trying to get in touch today, but uh, we'll get back to the game. Lots of therapy. She's missing half of her brain, and she's still alive. It can't be that. Right, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm so sorry about the interruptions today. I did try and edit it out, but it made the video quite choppy, so I do hope you're still able to enjoy it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay tuned and have a lovely day. Bye.